What is the creepiest thing you've ever witnessed? Part 2 I was at a friend's house and a glass fell from a table, did like a reverse C-shape maneuver and landed under the table. It was really weird. Another time, a candlestick flew from a shelf across the room. I still don't believe in ghosts, but it was certainly creepy. A family member died while hospitalized as we, the family, were there saying our goodbyes. The nurse came in, shut off the monitors, and left to give us space to grieve. The hospital window flew open five minutes into our grieving. There were no storms. There was no air movement or dispersed air pressure in the room. Nothing stood against the window, nor was anything pushing against it. Furthermore, I worked in this hospital and knew these windows were bolted to prevent jumpers. We all stared at each other, looked back at the deceased family member, and my cousin quietly closed the window. Intense scraping on my bedroom door when I was home alone. I lived in a rental with three friends and they were all working late shifts. I was in the attic room so my door was down some steps inside my room. You could look over the railing and stand right above the door. I was watching YouTube and I swore I heard a cat pawing on the door. We don't have a cat. I pause the video and listen. There's nothing. I rewind the video and it wasn't coming from that either. I hear it again a few minutes later and pause. This time it lasted slightly longer and I knew I heard it. I go down and peek out. Nothing. I lock the door out of paranoia and go back to my computer and read articles instead. It was silent and then the door started getting scratched again. I shout down there, who the fuck is there? And it doesn't stop. I looked over the railing again and I see the door shaking. Eventually, someone comes home and we search the house to find nothing. This was also around the time I would often wake up and my brains would play tricks on me and I would see things floating through the room before fading away. I got so used to it that I would watch it until it was gone instead of jumping out of shock. I used to live above a funeral home and I don't believe in ghosts, obviously, but once I was in bed and I swear I could hear what sounded like hands on the walls coming down the hallway. It actually made me shout, fuck off, to which it stopped. It was pretty creepy. Then one time, we were looking after a dog and I was doing the washing up, pretty normal day, and the dog, an Alsatian, looked just behind me and went down into like attack position and sort of growling like mad. She was a pretty horrible dog to be honest, but never did anything like that into what seemed like empty space. When I was 15 years old, an older French-Canadian man that I had just been introduced to leaned in and whispered to me that he wanted to, and I quote, lick the backside of my belly button. Gag, I'm not even 100% sure what that meant, but I know that his French accent made it so much creepier. I've had three dreams where I talked to my mother who died giving birth to me. The house I live in is haunted. It's an old house my grandpa lived in forever. It's haunted, but not like the conjuring or poltergeist. These ghosts don't do shit. I was in hospital a few years ago. Broke my arm. I was like 11. I wasn't scared about the pain, just shocked at the fact that I broke it. Anyway, I was on one of those trolleys they push you around on, and I was put on the edge of a huge empty room next to the x-ray place. I was wheeled somewhere by my dad and a doctor, and the doctor left. I looked to my right, and there are five police officers surrounding this guy next to me, who had some sort of broken leg or something. He was a criminal. Orange jumpsuit, badass look, just regular criminal vibes all around. He stared at me, eyes absolutely bulging. It was the creepiest shit I've ever seen. He looked like he wanted to murder me on the spot. He was wheeled out soon after and everything was fine, but damn. That was a hellish experience even looking at the guy. He also smelled like alcohol. Remember that distinctly. So I have a little cousin. I feel bad for him because his younger sister constantly hits him and scratches him and his parents do nothing. He has scars all over his arm. Anyway, one night there was a party with me, my friend, cousin, and my cousin with the little sister who was about nine at the time. We're hanging out in the basement since it was a big open area with lots of space. His little sister was bothering him so he chased her away. We thought nothing of it until they got a bit physical. The little sister was hitting him constantly until I think he just kind of broke. I saw him put his hands on her neck, so me and my cousin immediately broke them up. He felt really bad about it and was crying. He's about 11 now and is doing really well. I used to know a guy from school. He was on the autism spectrum, I think, had some form of mental condition. Last I heard, he had some minimum wage job, but a couple of years ago, 
I met him once on a bridge outside the local church, sitting there. I asked him what he was doing, and he said he came there to sit every day, hoping he would somehow find the courage to throw himself off. I still see him there from time to time. Clearly, he never did. A friend of mine, a girl, went to this guy's house to have dinner with him. He himself prepared the dinner and it was pretty good and they were both having a good time. Suddenly, when dinner was approaching its end, unfortunately, she shat herself. It is something that can surely happen, but she was indeed very, very embarrassed. But the guy behaved like a gentleman and told her that there was no problem and that she could use the bathroom to clean herself up while he put her dirty clothes in the washing machine. So she cleaned herself up and wore the clean clothes the guy gave her, and also thought that this guy was a polite and kind-hearted fella. Then she exited the bathroom. She found the guy standing in the living room, rubbing himself with her shit-stained clothes. He had put laxatives in her food. He planned it. TLDR. A guy put laxative in the food of a girl he invited to dinner so she would shit herself and so he could rub himself with the shit-stained clothes. The creepiest was when I saw a killer in 2008, but that's before he committed the crime in 2009. I remember seeing this guy sitting in the student library. He was a university student, just like I was at the time. I could feel his evil energy near me, and it made me look up suddenly, and then I saw him in the corner. He was just sitting on a chair, staring at nothing in particular. He had these strange, dark eyes, and he was wearing a beanie with pieces greasy hair sticking out from under it. I remember thinking he would be handsome if he took the stupid beanie off. I felt a sense of dread just being near him. I could sense that he was dangerous. The victim felt the same way, apparently. She was also a student at the campus, but a few years younger than him. He was studying business or something like that. Anyway, the victim told her friends he was weird and didn't want to talk to him. I think she, too, got a similar feeling of dread from being near him, especially his eyes looked cruel. I mean, he wasn't ugly. Exactly, but he had a cruel face. Anyway, he was arrested shortly after the murder and given a 30-year prison sentence. He confessed as well. He admitted fully he did it. So basically, one night, me and a couple of friends were walking through a forest or woods. We went two ways as we wanted to go to different places. Some were drunk and some weren't. After about an hour, we all met back up. One friend from the group Alfie tells us he saw a young girl sitting on a tree in a yellow dress and covered in blood. Another friend from the other group, Billy, says he saw the same thing. So us being the stupid people we were, walked back into the woods to find this little girl sitting there on a rock looking at a tree. Alfie shouts at her to ask if she's okay and she runs away. Everyone split into groups of two and ran to find her. Me and Billy sat down after walking for 10 minutes. The girl was sitting on a log in the woods and behind was a bottle of Coors Light. Billy threw the bottle, aiming past her, but accidentally hit her. The bottle went right through her, and we freaked. The group heard the bottle smashed, along with a married couple walking through the woods. We pointed at the girl to the couple, but they couldn't see anything. I'm not sure what happened that night, but it's always been in the back of my mind. Me going the first time into a lost place. I was in some other lost places before, but the first time in that location, and having deja vu like full on knowing where every room and staircase is, and me knowing that one of the rooms is furnished before stepping foot inside the room and before opening the room. A couple weeks ago, me and my little brother were in a yard and this car just slowly passed the property. I was watching him while my mom was in the garden and I was throwing axes and shooting slingshots. I see the car creep by. We're both young, brother is four, I'm 13, so prime targets for the scumbags. And I'm male as well, so it's not like the person was staring at my big old boobies. But as I watched them go by, I told my brother to stay away from the road and stay near me or mom whilst I simultaneously drew my slingshot. Didn't need to fire, thankfully but I would have been more than happy to shatter a car window of a predator with my trusty wrist rocket. I told my mom to keep an eye out, told my little brother to help mom garden as I was going inside and he didn't want to. Didn't get the plate number or car model and the windows were blacked out so I couldn't report anything to authorities. Shame. Years ago, I was at a department store with my mother, my baby sister, and my mother's close friend along with her child. My mother was shopping like five meters away and her friend was watching my baby sister sitting on the cart with a pacifier in her mouth. My sister accidentally dropped the pacifier and it landed on the floor. 
My mother's friend noticed my mom was not looking, picked up the pacifier and sucked it and put it back in my sister's mouth. I was in a hotel room and I heard unsettling noises coming from the closet. I tried to open it, but it was locked. Later that night, I wake up at 3 to 4 a.m. to see the closet with the doors wide open and my hotel room door knocked on. I go into the hallway, but there's nobody there. I go back to my room to see black goo all over my bed and leaking out of the closet. I call the hotel monitor and he responds, call the police. As he leaves, I see this man in my room with a machete and I get the fuck out of there. The goo turned out to be paint and the dude was trying to murder me and take my stuff. He had been on drugs and had been hiding in that closet for the past week and was looking for a victim to rob and kill. He was previously wanted for offering drugs to minors, possible cannibalism, and for hiding his wife's body in his closet in 2009. He was a previous staff member for the hotel until he was fired for sexual harassment towards a customer. Now I know not to go to hotels in a crime-filled city.